Island, Bermuda, every block, alley lane, road, and corner. Pay homage to the founding fathers, brother Bob Burroughs and all real warriors. Sally Bessie down strong black daughters. Rest in peace, hand falling soldiers. You some push it too far and further. Too much black and black crime and murder. Lost generation. Island, Bermuda, every block, alley lane, road, and corner. Pay homage to the founding fathers, brother Bob Burroughs, and all real warriors. Sally Bessie down strong black daughters. Rest in peace, hand falling soldiers. You some push it too far and further. Too much black and black crime and murder. Lost generation that you try to call us. Had mistaken like of faith, not control us. Never will own, we own home. What you told us, a false of dream and scheme that you sold us. Oh, Jehovah, please guide and guard us. No more barriers, no more borders. Time to now legalize marijuana. One love, one heart, one order. Oh These boy. are the times. So, time. so many signs. So many signs. Don't you be blind. Bring you to get wise. You're gonna figure out why I said this. While I play this press tune. Bring you to get wise. I'm here to get <laughs> Anyway, here we are once again. It's Fresh TV, the best TV. And of course, inside Local Thursday is Fresh TV, the best TV. And of course, we have a special guest with us today. And you'll never guess. And, and this is all about trivia. So, you know, I, I have to start with Get Wise. You know what I mean? Bermuda Get Wise. It's sort of like a, a, a play on the whole theme of what, we're got <laughs> what we have coming up for you today. And um, it's with uh, our beautiful lady uh, that we have with us today from the Spitzen. And let me tell you, if you could guess, if you could guess who is actually, and the first person to actually inbox us on Elmore at Fresh, if you're out there watching on Facebook, um, if you inbox me first and you can tell me who do you believe I actually have in my guest from the Spitzen, even giving you a a little hit um you know i'm gonna get this like you know i'm into this old trivia mode now and um guess who this young lady is and i will give you a free t-shirt from the fresh shop right here in bermuda so you guys whether you're local or foreign i'll make sure you get your t-shirt whether in bermuda or outside bermuda i'll make sure you get your t-shirt so if you could guess any first person who does it okay giving you a, a quick second just and she's used to the suspense so i can look on her face and see her they're like saying i can't be stop me on trivia just use me as a dog on trivia <laughs> that's right i used you as a trivia and um so you guys do you, can you guess who she is well you're about to, you're about to lose so the first person that punches it in wins and i'm about to do in five four it shouldn't take you that long to write her name by the way just i'm just letting you know that um three two one and let's join sugary brawn right here on fresh tv <laughs> what's up sugary <laughs> hello hello <laughs> how are you i'm fine thanks uh give thanks now listen i know you listen don't don't act all shy up in here with us on fresh you know because i know one thing you could talk okay you can let go. So, <laughs> don't get all shy up in there with us. Say hello to the people of Fresh TV and Fresh and yes. Facebook. Hello, Come on. hello, everyone. Hello, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. The Spitzen, the Spitzen. Here we are. Um, you know, it's interesting because uh, I myself was looking at how I could, um, you know, was done a thing on Friday night and, um, and it was going to be spit it because I want guys to just spit. 
you know, on the microphone, and there you are, got the spits in, like, wow, you know, you know, great minds think alike, great minds think alike, you know. Um, but listen, so tell me now, um, I've obviously I've known you for a while, and um, I've uh, I myself known you through 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 the chew stick vibe and through through writing. Um, yeah. during your yeah. poetry spitting and, and, and that's all. So I could understand the, I could understand the spin. Um, so tell us, tell us, tell us, are you still, are you still writing? Are you still pushing out this, this top lyrics out there? Right. I have actually been writing poetry. Like last time I've actually written poetry and performed was that you stick. And it's been about, I would say seven, eight years that I've actually done poetry. However, I did produce um, a little YouTube video called Verbal Foreplay, and that's probably the last time I've actually written something and, and I put it to a track. But um, I haven't written poetry, but I, I would think of it like this. I've transferred my stage and my audience from open mic to online, where that's where we have the spit scene. Ah. The spit scene actually is a representation of my, my art. Where the word spit comes from, because you know you used to spit poetry. But of course. But you know, but um, I think yeah, the spit same as caters to my artistic, creative side, where I can write. So I'm going from writing poetry to more writing, I don't know, articles and producing videos. Hmm. It's like a still uh, freedom of expression. But now I'm telling little miniature stories and documentaries and stuff like that. Ah, okay. So, so, so with the with the with the bits and now, what what? Obviously, it's not just about where we're going with this in terms of the trivia, but it's now taking on a life of what sort of stories is it telling? What what sort of what attraction for people to be on this bit soon? You, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting because I really don't have a set agenda with this scene. I am just a blogger. I think of my, my blogging style as almost like a DJ or a, a chef that puts, a, puts so many different ingredients into one dish. Or like a DJ would take several different tracks, several different reggae soca and mixing all types of music and, ha and gives an audience, you know, gives it to audience. So the spit scene, I share funny videos, I share the latest news videos um, that I see. Anything that I want to share, I share. Um, I, and also I write on articles, I'm written on slavery, I'm written on um, sexual child abuse, self-harming, I write on relationships. It's really just a page where I am free to express myself. and. Whoever wants to follow, they follow, and whoever doesn't, doesn't. And, you know, I used to always, like, think something was wrong with me because, like, other pages are so focused on certain topics. Like, they only will post their their content. But if, if this fits in, it's definitely, you have to be an open thinker because you're going to get it all. all from, even though I'm a Bermudian and I share Bermudian content, I also am going to take you for a trip all over the world. You're going to go to Peru. You're going to go to Russia. You're going to go wherever there's interest. I share it. And mm -hmm. I share my opinions on it, Val. <laughs> it's just me. I don't like to be boxed into one particular topic. But like on my Darcy Curls page, that's more natural hair and more fashion and style. So I'm more restricted on the Darcy Curls page. But on the Spitzer page, I refuse to be restricted. <laughs> you mean you re you refuse you refuse to be censored, uh, so to speak? Or, or yeah, you have to, you definitely have to be a, a open thinker. And I think you know I attract so many different types of people on the Spitzer like. You, you have, I, I was just saying the other day, sometimes I feel like spinach because I have like people from Israel writing in Hebrew. <laughs> oh, the, you know, and I'm, I'm, I can't tell you what the writing they take, you know, the friends and they're engaging in this full length conversation. And I don't know what they're saying. I have Africans that are there writing, but you know, it's good. And I, 
it's, it's just how it is and i like it that way you know interesting i mean and that's that's actually um very interesting to it's just like the international page it really attracts so many and i think like last month i done a video series on bart simpson on eight relationship killers that can destroy your marriage and your relationships but i put it in cartoon character and I went on nine ways that you could destroy your relationship using cartoon. And, you know, it's amazing when I posted it out there how many Jamaicans were attracted to it. Mm. So many Jamaicans were going to sit there and, and, you know, because Facebook would tell you who is following you, who likes your page. So, yeah, it's just versatile. I'm just versatile and I refuse to be censored and restricted. Now, now, what many people may not mean, I mean, you are, you are a corporate mite. You are uh, someone who basically you lives almost like you're like a, you're like a, a jackalus and hydus. Um, <laughs> in, in, <laughs> because on one side, you're this, you're this mild mannered, uh, you know, mild mannered corporate worker who goes to, you know, work in, in the business world. And then on the other side, you're coming home and it's like, swish. Yeah. <laughs> All right, world, here I am. <laughs> and, um, and now you're going to, and you're this, you're this, you're this creative beast in a sense. Um, how, what, what, what is the yearning for that? Why, why, you know, how did, how about that you recognize and say, you know what? Yes, I'm this, but I also am going to be this to the fullest. Like you take a lot of time doing creative you. How did you? You know, find out, find that to be something that you know you're happy doing what you're doing in one with your corporate life, and, and it provides an opportunity for you to do something. And on the other side, you're doing this great fulfillment with this creative side of your of of, of yourself. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. How 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 are you managing to? How did you make that happen? You know, it's funny how people have always said that to me. So even like when I used to perform two stick at two stick, they say that like. In person, on one way, but then, like on stage, I just turn into a something radical, you know. But it's just me, it's my personality. But I'm, um, I have always been creative. I think I'm been creative. To be honest, I feel I've, I've realized that I am suffocated when I sit at a desk and do corporate work. I feel like I'm chained. I feel like I'm, um. I know that I'm intelligent, and I know mm -hmm. that I've got the qualifications. But mm -hmm. now that um, now that I live in England, it showed me that um, like I don't even want to do insurance no more. I used to be a claims analyst, and I'm fully qualified, and it's just not my heart. It's not my soul. I think I love engaging with my audience, like only Switzerland. I would be there all day. I make sure that I engage with my audience. Sometimes <laughs> I would wake up in the morning to 100 notifications, and I would respond to everybody and <laughs> engage with them. And wow. I like, you know, you know, it's just I respect that people respect my art. They, I respect their time. I respect their attention, you know. And it's about building a rapport with my um audience. Not you know, um, I just I'm happy when I create. Mm. When, I know what you like, like you give me like I will sit here and have a vision, and the challenge is to fulfill that. Like I would experiment and I would produce these videos and find a hot beat. I would be here for hours looking for the right beat, looking just like I just do things. Um, more for myself, i done this video called um, Serenity Prayer, right? Yeah. And it's, I love um, artistic nudity, black mm. and white photography. Mm. I love it. Like, it's not like pornography. It's not showing body images, but it's like so passionate to me. <laughs> it's so, like, I can't explain it, but it's like, so I, you gotta go on the Twitter page and actually see some of these images and poses, but they're all new. So I created Serenity Prayer using these images. Mm. 
And my co-workers were teasing me. They were talking about I'm obsessed with nudity, but they couldn't see the passion behind it. Oh. And I, I even took one of my co-workers' voices to do a voiceover, and he was from Pakistan. And I reverted his voice to sound like a, a black man's voice. I changed the tone to sound like he was very white. And they was all laughing at me. But for me, you know, it was an accomplishment to test and tune and try different things. And, you know, I like to explore with my creativity. And um, I guess I'm very unpredictable. I am. Mm, mm. Well, I mean... I must. I, I. I. definitely know that it is a passion. Whatever you've done, and and like you saying, that's my second encounter. Uh, I, I guess when people say you're obsessed with nudity, I don't know how many people, at no matter what side of the fence you fall on, um, um, you you definitely have some sort of a fashion for nudity because that's our whole life as as human beings, right? Male, female, attraction, whatever. That's yours. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you know. So okay, so you like naked bodies. <laughs> Um, but it's, but you know, it's it's not like naked bodies. It's like artistic form of poses. These are like really classy. You would never see the nipple. Okay. You would never see the man's um genitals. Okay. None of that. Right. Right. You may see right. The, you may see the buttocks. Okay. But you're not. So this is like really. I think it just it just captivates me with the poses and the, the, the form. professionalism the form. of it. And yeah. I think that artists just in me that could appreciate that. And yeah. also I like to um, like captivate the image and also give a quote, a meaningful quote beside it. Like it was, it was one woman that was nude and she was anorexic. Mm. But you saw all her ribs. Wow. And it was like a deep pain of like submission. Like wow. I, <laughs> I know. I I just I accept that I'm just peculiar. I do. <laughs> I see, I see things in images. Like I would call myself a photojournalist because I love looking at images and seeing what they communicate to me. Right. Right. Yes. So I'm a hoarder of photos, and that's how like a uh, Rami fits in because I have photos. I'm killing my laptop with photos. <laughs> Well, listen, I mean, I'm, I am like, I'm almost like not buying to, I don't know how far along. I mean, I did search through some spit stuff, but I haven't, I guess I never got that far. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm hungry to see some of these, these, these images and what you're doing there. Cause I think it sounds very interesting. It's like doing steel lifes and, and doing, um, you know, life drawing and stuff like that. You're not focused, you know, you go to a, it's like going to a nude, uh, a class where you got to draw nude bodies. And I can remember right. when I first, you know, when I was in, 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 in college, right? And, um, you know, I can remember the art class before me, uh, before I took my class, seeing people talking about their new classes and the models, oh, we're going to do, you know, nudes. So I'm like, ooh, boy. But then when I got there and, uh, you know, got into that class, by the time you take instructions and you start, and by the time the month actually takes their clothes off, they're like so casual about it because they just come in and bop, bop, and do the pose. And then you're actually into um, what you're supposed to do to pull and express, you know, what you mm -hmm. see and, and create this form. And you stop seeing the human body as this sexual object, per se. Yeah. And you start exactly. seeing it as, uh, as a form, you know, of yeah. shapes and curves and yeah. lines. And um, so I, I totally get what you're saying because I just don't remember a time. Even when I try and even I look back, and you know, sometimes you can look back and fantasize. And even as I look back, I just can't even get in that mood about the models um, at all, at all, because it just wasn't, mm -hmm. it was, wasn't sexual. You know what I mean? It's not exact, and that's the thing. It's not sexual for yeah. me neither, but it's more passionate. Like some right. of the yoga posts, but some of the images I use are particularly black and white. Mm. But the the video that I produce called Verbal Foreplay, I am speaking poetry, and the the the, the beat is sensual, and the poses are very um, artistic. You, if you get a chance, it's on YouTube. It's on my Brown Sugar TV page. It's called Verbal Foreplay. I mean, that's one that's had a lot of views. Verbal. It's, it's, it's definitely. 
Huh? It's called verbal for verbal 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 foreplay. Verbal I'm foreplay. Verbalism. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but what I'm saying, I see. I could go there. I could do that. Um, but is the music? Do you have the rights for the music? Like, did you? Did you? Is that music that you have? Because sometimes they'll shut us down if we don't have the right music rights. So they mm -hmm. they will shut us down. So I don't want to put it in this show, and then all of a sudden we can't play this this clip. Right, right, so, right, yeah, right. Um, so I'm not gonna, I won't do it on, you know, unless, but we could just guide people to go there and look at it. Um, okay, it, no it, problem. It, yeah, you know, no go problem. and look at that YouTube uh, verbal foreplay on um, the Spitzer and Spitzer and TV or it's brown it's sugary. Maybe, it's cool. <laughs> so I'm not gonna give me brown sugar TV. <laughs> brown sugar TV. Okay, so you go to brown sugar TV and look at that. Um, you know, like once again, you are. A big of it, you know. It reminds you of what you just don't know what you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> just don't know what you're gonna get. I'm serious. But um, as we as we move on, obviously you you've evolved. Um, you know, we're not gonna deal with the other side of like you said the Darcy Curls things. But in transition now, you you find yourself um doing spits and TV, and you've evolved some way to sort of keep yourself connected to uh to Bermuda. Right. Right. And you, you, you found this way, which is how I found you again. I mean, I've been seeing you out there, but I haven't, you know, I've just been sort of just keeping an eye on you. You know, nothing's really popped out to me until, you know, just the other day. And I'm like, wow, you know, what? I really like what you're doing. And um, mm. and seeing and, and I think in just getting a glimpse of stuff, I didn't realize it was you one. Um. Uh, and 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 then in once doing so, reaching out. Let's talk about your uh, your trend now into one um, putting Bermuda out there in a very in a unique way that um, I haven't necessarily seen it before. Um, okay. What 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 made you? Um, yeah, not as off island entity. You know, like who leaves Bermuda to all of a sudden do like trivia contests on Bermuda? You know. <laughs> Um, in that regard, so so how did you what what was the birth what was the birthing of the idea of the Spitzern of the trivia? Um, you see, I've been in England now for five years, but the Bermuda trivia has been going on much longer than five years. It mm. happened before I left Bermuda. Okay, but what I would I was doing was just posting up. Uh, photos. I didn't actually move to doing videos. I was just posting a photo and giving people um, just linking a photo with a fashion. And what happened is, is that I had some, some followers on Facebook on Spitzer that used to love to answer. You know, they every time I posted a question, they was right there, ready to answer. And I said, like, wow, like, you know, and then I remember, uh, I believe if his name is Dwayne Nolan. I don't know if you're watching Dwayne, but he's someone that I met through my Spitzin Facebook page. And um, he said to, he wrote a comment on my page and he says, don't stop these Bermuda trivia. I wanna, you know, and I was like, whoa, like, you know, people really enjoy it. And so, when I first started, it only had like it, two resources. It was only two people, three people, but see with me, I don't base my rate of success on people's reaction. I do it because I want to do it. I do it because I like to post. So then even sometimes I post a question and never had a response. And it's okay because it's this. And um, so... So, so to answer your question, it, it began way before I left Bermuda, it, you know, while I was in Bermuda. Now, living in the UK, I would say that's where the video aspect of the production started. Because I was unemployed for eight months, and while I was here, I was kind of bored, felt lonely. And I said, you know what, I'm going to take my videos and just get some footage and do things, you know, with my video camera and show some of my family and friends what the UK looking. So 
that's how the video aspect came in with me experimenting. So then I decided to tell stories on my video. Yeah. Uh huh. And and yes. and okay. So so basically, yeah. Because I was kind of like thinking, like, geez, like, how did you arrive at this uh at this place at this space of uh you know being in the UK and um just saying, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this this uh this quiz stuff. But once like I said, once like I said, it was happening way before I came yeah, to Yeah, I UK realized that now. Just that I just heard about it because so many people are following it now, but it's been going on and now I decided to up the stakes and give prizes and that's what's got people coming. Um but I don't just produce videos, I also write articles. Okay. On Bermuda. Like I wrote an article on the the history of Black Watch Pass. Mm. How that was how that came about. Also the Bishop Spencer School in Warwick across mm. from that little shop, you know? Mm -hmm. I never knew that that was a school. But I always thought of that's a warehouse. So because I have many pictures, I put them out there and I test people. So I have fun with it. I'm very creative with the ideas of it. Well, th that's the that's the thing too. I mean, when I'm looking at your work, and I'm looking at the um, the amount of depth that you have going into it. Um, for instance, like I'm I'm looking at one of the you know the ones that's out there right now, even in terms of the Bermuda the Bermuda Railway. Um, okay. Um, you know. And I'm looking at the footage, and I'm looking at the the depth of information. You're telling a story. It's historically factual. Um, you know, these are not some fly-by-night pieces um, in that mm. you're just saying, oh, you know, these clips together. Um, you're actually sitting there crafting this whole story and yeah. thinking about and thinking about how you're making a trivia question about it. So, you know, yeah. you're, you're creating these levels of trivia and not just one, but a number of questions as you go through. <laughs> how, how are you, how are you tracking this information? How are you getting this information? Like, I would definitely say what happens is with these trivia, it does require research, right? Um, I just can post a question and not have my answers. My so it does require research. Like I said, I, I I love the challenge of challenging people. So in a sense, it's could it could be almost competitive. Does that make sense? With your, yes, yes. You you have a high I, degree I, of, com, of of competing I have against yourself. I can outsmart people, and lots of times I don't. And lots of times, you know, but that's the whole thing about Bermudians is that Bermudians think they know it all. The medians definitely got something to say. They're very opinionated, and they think they're right all the time. So that's why it's so interesting because sometimes hey. some of the audience are good at it with the answer. And also, it's a learning experience because some being I don't even know. Hello. But with the um, railway trivia, I was shocked to see that there were so many railway houses in Bermuda. I never knew that there were railway houses. And I was never taught his Bermuda history in school. Mm. So, like, and I remember going to Northland and he learned religious knowledge about Jupiter and Venus. Mm. And I remember learning about the French Revolution, but I was never taught Bermuda history. I didn't know half the things went on in Bermuda. I tell you that Bermuda was discovered, I think, in 1609, and that's it. But, um, so there's times where I see different pictures and I'm a trigger and an idea. And like you said, I'm already creative. So I will see something and I say, you know what? If I know the answer, it's a good chance that somebody else don't know the answer. Hmm. So that's where it gets interested. And some people tell me, oh, this is too easy. This question is too easy. But you know what? What's easy for you may be difficult for someone else. And mm. some people that live in St. George's, the east end of the island, may not even travel up to that scene that often. We think everybody's well traveled all over Bermuda, but 
There's a lot of areas of Bermuda Bermudians don't travel. True. True. So this, this latest trivia is, I think, is very challenging for some people because it's not just a knowledge test; it's a memory test. And it took me forever to figure out number one. Question one. I knew I seen that building somewhere. I knew I seen it. I was laid on Clearwater somewhere. But, you know, eventually I found out. It took me a while to find those answers. And to my surprise, so many people have entered. And the common sporn being. 100%. Mm -hmm. So, are they going on Google? I don't know. I do know that some people are teaming up. A husband and wife are teaming up. A son and his daughter, they teamed up. So, hey, if it's causing people to come together and bring free quality time, and if it causes people to go online and do some research of themselves, good. It's, it's okay if you go on Google. I don't have a problem with that. Just bring me the answers. That's all that matters today because you can, you know, you, 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 yeah, when you're at home, it's not like being in a studio asking people to, um, stop the cheat you know like you can't make that call you can't look there i mean people have mm -hmm. asked and as honest as people think they are they'll look to get the easiest <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you they're gonna look I at the easiest path families to coming through i see families with the same last name the mother the son the daughter and you know one day they like get a split the price but you know hey i don't it's about fun it's about um knowledge and with this trivia, I wanted it to be competitive, but also wanted to provide value and knowledge. I also decided to throw in some of my foreign reality in there with the UK train. So I tried to make it a bit entertaining, interesting, and an educational experience. A school teacher actually done it. She teaches 3 a.m. students. And she said she loved it. You know, she said she's going to share it to some of her students and her children. Another woman took the trivia, and she said her grandmother had um, managed the railway museum. So she knew a lot of the answers. Oh, boy. I was like, Whoa, you know? I see so many firemen. That's a trivia. <laughs> 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 no, the men are really surprising to me because, I don't know, because it's like they are about traveled on the island, but some of the women look like that lower. <laughs> you know, so it's it's short and well, me, that, that kind of attends to the exercise people too, unfortunately. Yeah, men are, men are exercising that. far more than women seems like it, I guess. Oh dear, <laughs> I don't know if I want to go there. <laughs> okay, I said it. I said it. Okay, I said it. I see it in the morning time, so I said for every woman that I see, every tan man that I see on a bike, maybe I see one or two women. So for every person that I see walking or running, maybe I see one woman. So I, I think it's pretty factual. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> I I actually also um, done a video on the city, I mean the history of City Hall. Yes. I found that fascinating. I saw that one too. That was fascinating to me because I never knew what a hotel in City Hall Park, you know what I mean? Mm. For me, I found it interesting. I like history. I like seeing the old bosses. So I provided that little history story. But um, I actually found, after I produced that, I found the actual photo of the Hamilton Hotel. It burnt down in a fire. So that was, like, really interesting to me. You know, and and just the other day, some of my British co-workers, male, I told them that I produced my railway trivia, and they looked at me and they froze their face. And they was like, why don't you do that on history? Like, you know, and they said, um, I wasn't even born in 1940. Like, they were shocked that I would be interested in something like that. <clears throat> mm. And I, on the other hand, wonder why they spend all night in Xbox and chasing Pokemon up and down the street. Mm. 
for me, like I, I respect the differences, you know, this that's me. I'm into history. I like knowledge. I like to learn. So that's me. And I put my creative, I mix my creative with my knowledge and I share it and I like the engagement with my with my audience. I do. I love it. Mm. And I think also being England, um, you know, it's, it's been a fresh start, a new beginning, but a lot of my relationships are still back in Bermuda. My family and my closest friends are in Bermuda. So in the UK, I've, I've built acquaintances. And I do, I work a lot. I work to draw, believe it or not. But I think being in the UK, I have less distraction. So it gives me time to nurture my creativity. Well, I'm just I'm I'm just um, sharing some of the shots from uh, uh, from City Hall and um, from the uh, the actual uh, okay. the 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 fire and and the actual um, shot of the of the hotel. <laughs> I saw that shot, and um, you know that was that was pretty amazing. I looked at that once again. You know, when I stumbled onto what you were doing, um, I I really was captivated. Um, cause I'm, I'm not an easy person to like, get me to stop along the way. I sort of like go to things directly what I'm looking for most of the time. And then I stay pretty focused on it. Cause I know consciously that the internet could just carry you away to Timbuktu. And, um, yes. and, and so, but sitting on your, 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 your stuff, I, I, I got captivated. I did. I really sort of said, you know what? I want to see more. I like seeing the fact that that part of Bermuda history, you know, a lot of people haven't really explored it in a way. In a, in, in a historical context to sort of bring, it's almost like bringing it to life for a new generation um, in a sense as well. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Because it's like what they're doing, um, if you want to, you know, hide something, you have to put it in a book. If you have it in a book, a lot of people are not going to really find themselves. It's not going to, they're not going to find it. But with this new medium that you, um, that we're using called the, the uh, internet, it's, um, it's made things more accessible. And it, it's made things more exciting um, to look at. So you caught me, you caught my attention. I was like, "Whoa, this is some nice stuff. This is some, this is some good footage too." Because you know, you sometimes you yeah. get to these seconds. <laughs> and you know what? I have to grow, um, give props and credit to Pan Bud. Uh, he is the he allowed me to use his video footage. And um, he has a YouTube channel, so check him out, guys. His name Can, but and what happened is, um, I went through about five videos, six videos for footage of the train. So it took me quite a while to find all this. There, there's um video footage. That's that's all for like five different videos. But I created a story of the video clips that I wanted to use to tell my story. So I edited a lot of those videos to tell my story in the timeline. <laughs> so. Yeah, it, I mean, I think it's I think it's absolutely really cool. So let's talk about this contest, and because mm -hmm. the the one let's talk about the, the the current contest. What's 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 the the the, the contest that's coming to a head right now? Um, right. How can people play? So let's talk about the one that's coming to a head right now. How can people okay. play before the closing date? What's on the table? Right. Uh, basically, the last date of submission has been going on for like four weeks. I give people four weeks to get themselves together. So the last date of entry, people, it is Sunday, September the 10th. Now, these last trivia, people come up to midnight to enter. Okay, now you must remember, I am four hours ahead of you. We are in two different time zones. So I don't want to wake up September the 11th with like five people trying to answer. So get your answers to me. So what you need to do is click on the YouTube link. Go to my YouTube channel. It's called Brown Sugar TV. So Brown, B-R-O-W-N, Sugar is without an R. It's S U G A T V, and your CD Railway Challenge. The questions, the not is is ten questions. Here are the railway houses in Bermuda. So what I've done is I've gave you two hints. 
And if you could tell me if it's in St. George's, if it's in Somerset, where is it? Where is that building? And um, then we have a bonus question, which is, can you tell me where that train is in Bermuda? Question number 10. So some people drew out all types of answers, Corn Hill, Crow Lane, the old level Bermuda. But if you could tell me what's the correct answer, it's $10 for each question you get correct. So basically, if you get all 10 correct, your name will be answered into our prize drawer of $100 which is an Amazon gift certificate. And I share it in an Amazon gift certificate so you can purchase what you want online. So that's it right there. So I I think that I'm um so far this has been pretty good. Cool. And and, and it, tell, it, hmm? how do you um uh, how do you actually one, I mean, you know, first of all you're like you're putting up, you know, you're you're putting up you know, gift certificates and things that, you know, things are tangible for, for, for people to win. So, so things are got to be right. Um, how do you, how do you chat? Has people challenged your, 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 um, your validity on answers? Because, you know, there's always somebody who thinks that they actually know better than you or that answer is not right. Have you had those conversations with people? Well, this, this particular trivia, the railway trivia, is factual that I've given them. The, they have to give me the right answer. That's factual. But in previous trivia, as I've seen where I've been challenged, like it was uh, the first trivia I done last year, and the question was about casemates, what year casemates was closed. And um, I had one year, I, I can't remember, let's just say 1991, and another gentleman had 1992, and he and I told him he was wrong, and he came back with the whole newspaper link clip and everything coming to prove his answer, you know, which was quite shocking and amusing at the same time. And basically, I came back to him and showed him where I had got my answer, and you know, um, but I appreciated that he went the extra mild like to really he was he was emotionally involved <laughs> it was uh, even at bishop francis school um i can't remember what the i think it was called saint mary but apparently that school changed his name over the years so let's just say in 1940 they were named saint mary's but then in 1960s it changed to saint andrews and people knew it as St. Andrews, but other people were at St. Mary's. And so it was like, okay, you know, which is the correct answer, but that's what happened. The school changed name over that period of time. Mm. So the older generation that went to school there, like in 1930s, right? Because the building was born uh, close to Emancipation Day in Bermuda. Mm. So back then it was St. Mary's. But then, like I said, the other generation needed something else. So that was an interesting thing because I thought I was wrong, you know. And But no, I was correct. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well, um, I was correct. <laughs> Take that. Um, yeah, uh, but the, and that's the thing. I'm in a Facebook group called Bermuda. I don't know if anybody's heard about it. Oh. But people just, huh? No, that's Said cool. Again? Old Bermuda. Yeah, and people, it's called Old Bermuda. And people just post old pictures of Bermuda. And so... I'm in that group of people that are like in the 70s and 80s sharing all the memories. And it's great to follow their memories. Mm. And I find that with my posts, my trivia posts, it triggers a lot of people's happy memories too. Especially the, tr the train trivia. People tell me, oh, I remember when, when that I caught the train. Or one person said, oh, I'm the man in that bike. That's me in that picture holding a push bike. It's a picture on Front Street with the train. The little boy looks like he's about six or seven holding a push bike close to Bank of Bermuda. Mm. And this man says, well, that's me. That's me in that picture. <laughs> he never Wow. Nah. He wow. Never said, that was interesting. And the man looks like he's 80 or 90 or something. He is uh, like, wow. And he told me the photographer's name. And that that photographer took this all over Bermuda with the train. Mm. Walk out. 
Yeah, I don't know the name of the book. And the man told me he ain't he like nobody has the book. <laughs> <laughs> his whole... He about his, his, his... But so far, I have done three trivia. Uh, the first one was more of aerial view, aerial view of Bermuda. I want to see if people can really identify parts of the, the island from way above the side. And people come, people like trolling area. I could not figure out trolling. It's like it. But people was getting it. It's like East Fort Bay area, that, that band. It's an aerial child there. And I thought it was somewhere close to Harrington Sun, Harrington Hunters or somewhere in that area. Well, uh, I... That was the first, the first trivia. Sharon, Sharon um, barely wants you want to travel world, Joe. From Worldview Travel. Okay. Yeah, yeah I she mean. She went to Ireland. She went, she took a trip and she won that. That was last year. This year we done, I, I produced the word search and I put the Bermuda parishes in there and people had to find the word. And then according to how many words they found was how much money they won. Don't tell us how much. Don't tell us. We're going to probably end up sharing them on fresh. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Okay. <laughs> So Jordan Fern won that one, and she was a Bermudian that lived in Manchester. So with these trivias, I find that attracts so many Bermudians, like in the in the states, in Canada, in the U.S., and in Bermuda. Mm. So it's uh, there's so many Bermudians that still follow Bermuda. Look, I'm I'm a Bermudian in the U.K. and I'm still very involved in Bermuda. I still. Uh, Follow what's happening, you know. Right. No, you, so, you, you, you're definitely tapped in. Um, and, and without right. knowing, like, you are not here, it's like, because you're on Facebook and because you're so still so engaged, um, it really doesn't yeah. matter, does it? It does. It doesn't matter whether you're in Timbuktu. It really doesn't matter doesn't. because and, you're engaged in the yeah. local fauna of what's taking place on um, a daily, weekly, yearly, monthly basis. <laughs> And and that's the thing. I'm very much still involved in the politics of Bermuda. The you know what's going on when it comes to antisocial behavior. You know, there's back to school extravaganza. A lot of things, you know. And then all my friends on Facebook are pretty much Bermudian still. It's almost I'm still in Bermuda, but I live overseas. Uh -huh. I, I feel like I have the best of both worlds. Sounds kind of strange. I am. I have to. We're gonna take a break because I have to. Because I need to get. I need to switch the stream over because something has happened. And it switched over to music. And like I'm gonna have to probably end up cutting okay. it off and editing it before it goes back up. So we're gonna take a break while I just okay. reset this the, the stream for for a minute and um and come right back uh, and wind up with my girl Sugar Brown. Brown. It's actually Brown Sugar. It's Brown Sugar. It's Brown Sugar. That's what I thought. I thought it was Brown Sugar. But I saw Sugar Brown. No, it's actually <laughs> It's Brown Sugar. Okay, I'll be right back. Right after this. Well, I'm not going to be honest. I thought it was Brown Sugar myself. I thought it was Sugar Anyway, be right back. Right after this lip shops thing up before it becomes a, a problem with YouTube because then they won't let me post it. So, um, I'll be right back. And I might, let me see if I can find a little tune to play. Find a little vibes to put up just in the meantime, in the tween time. Put up vibes right there on Fresh TV, S TV. And of course, I, you know what? I'm going to drop my boy, Mighty Leap, right there. Everywhere. That's what I'm going to play. Mighty Leap. Everywhere, you be with also you. Also, play my song in Boxable. Oh, you have a song there? Yes, I have my reggae song in Boxable. Where is it too? Tell me the name of it. On oh, my Brown Sugar TV. Okay. Um, YouTube channel. Okay, let me let me play this and then I'll find it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna play this one because I'm right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the server. That's why. Hold on. Okay. Oh boy, mighty leap everywhere. Girl, bronze sugar. Oh uh, man, all this time I was there like sugary bronze. I was like that sugary bronze. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, what, what happened there is that Facebook puts a restriction on their names. Okay. They, they back then, in like 2008, where you, and you could use certain names, you know, but so I just said, I just go that. But anyway. <laughs> oh, see. that's what happened. So it's there. I see that Facebook, these guys, you know, they act all free, but all of a sudden you find yourself like, 
you know, being restricted. <laughs> yeah, a lot of restriction. Yes. Now, before before we wrap up, I wanted to um, I want to see um that that music. What was the name of your video? It's called Inboxable. Inboxable. Inboxable by Ron Sugar. Yeah. Mm. I am. B O X A B L E. By Braun Sugar. Mm hmm. It was like Hot One, Hot 1875 in like 2010. Oh, stop <laughs> it now. Yeah, it was, it was really popular. Inboxable. I don't know if it was normal, but. Inboxable. And when by you Braun heard, you actually. And you heard you may, you may trigger a memory, you probably heard it on the radio because they was playing it a lot on the radio. I'm looking for it, but I can't see it. Inbox, inbox bull. I N B O X. Not I N as in as in. Uh, it actually. So if you go on to the Brown Sugar TV page and go on my pay playlist, and you'll see Brown Sugar um the verbalist playlist. Brown Sugar TV channel let's see if we could get there yeah is it all one word brown sugar I don't see, let me see. um it's, it's, for some reason it's not coming very high i would like it to come actually you know what i sent it to your facebook inbox <laughs> okay if that helps you i sent the link that to you okay let's see uh yeah, because it's a whole bunch of brown sugars there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Ah, boy, I'm telling technology, I love it. I love the technology. Let's, uh... That was... Yeah, that was the song I wrote. The original reggae beat. I am in Boxer. Did you perform it too? Pull up, selector. Um, did you did you perform this as well? Yeah, it's a performer that you stick. So, <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it. I took the beat that I wanted to be produced, got produced at Just Platinum Music Studio, and yeah, it, it went straight to the top. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So what's the whole premise about Inboxable? Talk to us about Inboxable. What what was that all about? What was the main thrust behind Inboxable? I think the same theory when it comes to the spit scene. I don't like being boxed in. So you know how you have the word impossible? You have the word Inboxable. Okay. Whereas I don't like, like you say, be censored or to be restricted or anything. I just like to be free. That's why I do, you know, yeah, that's just my personality is inboxable. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a, it's a dance hall vibe too, um, which, <laughs> you know, I didn't, I didn't actually expect, I didn't actually expect that. Um, but as I'm saying, you know, people put you in this, like, they try to confine you to be something. But as you can see, like you say, I'm more of a chameleon, I just, you can't really label me. Mm, right, for real. Well, we'll save that song and play it at the outgoing of our show as we wrap this Thank up. You. So so wrapping this up, um, um, Brown Sugar, Sugary Brown. If you see it up there, it's the same one. Brown Sugar, Sugary Brown, with the restrictions. <laughs> <laughs> um, made me change my graphic right in stride there. But, you know, um, so this competition, is this one's about to come to a close. Uh, at midnight on Saturday night? What? Sunday, Sunday night. night. Sunday night at midnight, basically. Um, it, it comes and to I'm a win on Monday. You're non to win on Monday. I so yes, I will be doing it. I will be doing it, um, recording it. I record it so people can actually see the actual raffle. Okay. And they will see for themselves yeah. that, um, yeah, it's legit. 
I don't I don't have no favoritism or the names to no no care attacking. So far this is um we heard some of the raffle tickets. I cut them all up. You know, we got a good big game on her and I have a big pocket and I shake it all up, give it a good shake and I pick out a name, I don't look and that's it. You are I'm gonna tell you, I love your. I look, I love your spirit, honestly. But people, I hope people watching this get what real passion is, because you know what, you, um, you like, you you have a life. But some people would say, girl, you need to get a life. Like you're there doing this stuff, <laughs> stalking, they're doing editing. You're like editing. You're doing this raffle. You're cutting. You're you know, obviously, um, you know, I can't say obviously, but some people learn to juggle around in, in terms of, you know, children and, and a family life and a romantic <laughs> life. Um, um, you know, that being called life, you know. Um, <laughs> you, 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 you come what's, you, you're somewhat doing a lot of work there, ma'am. <laughs> well, you know. Do you have time to, you what's your unwind? That's what I should be asking. You know, you know what's your social what is your social life there, madam, in all honesty? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Had to do it, sorry. But you start talking about cutting up raffle tickets and, and, and thousands and hundreds. And you start talking like, wait a minute. Um, um, excuse me, brown sugar. Look, we had a day tonight. We had a day tonight. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to cut up another hundred raffle tickets. You want any help? <laughs> I'll buy the wine. No. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going gonna, gonna to be honest with you, okay? You want to know the truth? You want to know the truth? This is the truth. I'm in my mid-40s. I don't have any children, okay? I'm not in a relationship. I'm single. So I'm not one that's into a lot of nonsense when it comes to me and um, I live a drama-free lifestyle. I work two jobs. I work uh, in government in the UK, and I also have a part-time job working as a support worker with individuals with mental health VKM. And my social life is going to the GF and producing my creative project. Wow. wow. I, I do. Don't get me wrong. I do go out in the UK but you, you have to understand as well, the weather here is not that friendly. I'm not really interested in being out in cold weather. Um, I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm in a good place in my life. Like, I don't yes. need, you know what I mean? For me, I'm building my brand. I'm yes. about building my business. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I've got right. a long time build. Okay. If a man's going to come into my life, he's going to come to support me and build me, build with me. I ain't got no time for no drama. I ain't got no time for no man to play games and all that. I'm about my, I'm about the spitzing and dusty curls. I'm building my brand. I'm building my audience, and I have a vision and I'm going for. You, you definitely do. I'm you know, I, for you know, I, I said that early because when you start talking about cutting raffle tickets and everything, I'm thinking about <laughs> people online, right? Um, uh, look, I, I had to be honest. Like, I had to start saying, like, you know what? Wait a minute. This 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 young lady is talking like, um, like uh, she's not necessarily got a life her, in terms of you know the social aspects of what people do. So I just looking at the time. I was just looking at the time. That's all I was doing and realizing, yeah, I, hey, you know what? Yeah. I knew. Sorry. My I had more of a, I'll be honest. I felt like I had more of a social life in Bermuda. I had my car. I had all my friends. I used to go, you know, out play my tennis and stuff like that. I, I, I didn't have more of a social life that I enjoy in Bermuda. But at the same time, I realized that I'm on a foreign sabbatical. I'm discovering me and it's, I'm investing in my creativity. I'm nurturing it and I know people don't understand it. I know people don't understand me, but I'm driven and I'm focused and I'm happy. And the more that I produce, it's the more I feel fulfilled because nice. I see opportunities coming my way. Oh, for real. Not opportunities, they're coming. For real. And my desire is to work for myself. I don't want to keep working for somebody else. So I ain't got time.
people fight think I'm anti-social. You see, I'll the truth. They invite me places, they don't even do it. I'd rather stay here and produce my videos. Nice, it's, nice. Well, it's, you... it's absolute truth. Well, they... Hey, hey, uh, look, us in the arts, a lot of people won't understand that because of the fulfilling side of what we do. They don't understand the hard work, but they don't understand yeah. also, and they don't understand the want, the joy of hard work. That's the, you know, like, that's with the arts, a lot of people don't know. How could you stay in the studio for 24 hours? How could you stay in the studio for 10 hours? How could you not get up? Mm -hmm. How could you not, you know, it's a whole bunch of questions around how um, us in the arts, we in the arts, actually can actually tolerate long periods of time focused in on accomplishing our goals. Um, on a Saturday, I yeah. could spend all day producing my video from morning to night, midnight. Oh, I, be I'm I believe it. Really happy. I, I mean, I, I know it sounds a bit off, but if maybe if I had a man that I felt was worthwhile investing in, you know, what I, you know, my toy <laughs> you're too funny you know you make me laugh and you do stuff like that you absolutely <laughs> make me laugh you're, you're, you're absolutely cute and, and i must say you're absolutely like adorable when you do that because you know you hit these planks where you where you this impasse where you're like where you like say something so honest that you're like <laughs> and you but you got anyway you sort of say well i i, I guess i'll share my time <laughs> You know, on, on, um, like that for me, the trivia railway took 80 hours to produce. Right, 80 I actually, hours. I actually wow. have the record of how, many, how much time it wow. took. And do right. you know, every morning, I woke up 4.30. I woke up 4.30 to 4.45. I could be focused and give it a good hour. Every day, I try to do an hour towards it. And that's the end result. It didn't come overnight. You know, that didn't just pop up. It took research, it took time to produce, you know, and I recorded it. And that's, you know, what I finished with 80 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that. I was thinking of that 4.30 in the morning. Because, mm, you know, I'm going to go work. I'm going to right. make work here. And, right. um, but, you know, every day you need to invest in something to what you do. Every day you got to do something toward your girl to help you get to where you need to go. Mm. Mm. Right, you're, you're definitely doing that. And of course, we're going to be working together on our trivia on having, um, yeah. yeah, we're going to be, you know, we, we talked about it. So that's something that's actually going to be coming up. So um, Bermuda, you know, can get ready uh, for, for, for us um, do working together because we're doing, you know, I was just having a conversation with Sharon Wilson this morning and um okay. and she was on the show this morning and one of the things we talked about is how she brought it up and it just so happens we're doing it is the collaboration and a fair yeah. exchange right of intellectual property as opposed to someone saying i'm trying to do a trivia um show or or competition um as opposed to someone who's already doing a trivia competition and okay. a lot of times sometimes people are not matching up because mm. You're in a beginning stage, I'm in an advanced stage, and all of a sudden it seems like I'm pulling you along to trying to get something done for us. So okay. it doesn't, it's not an equal yoke of intellectual capability and exercise. Okay. And so, so um, you know, those of us who are mature in what we're doing, like what makes us good partners to do what we're going to do is because you're already doing it. I'm proving that I'm doing what I'm doing. Cause I we we yeah. made contact okay. and and we made it right and we made it all happen. So all we're gonna be doing is the keys on the same engine now. You know, we, you, it's not messing with what you're doing, but we're gonna enhance what each other's doing and then turning it into a financial proposition. So you know, this is the strength we need as a community, and this is something that you know um, I'm glad to be able to yeah. share with Bermuda because Sharon said we need to share it, and I told her, well, guess what? Myself and Braun Sugar are sharing this today. So you know what I mean? Like this this is like work power action right here. I'm telling you, it's it's really it's really powerful. And lack of fearless fearless um you know, lack of fear, right? And yeah. and I'm I'm having the trust factors to to talk them through, believe in each other's talent, you know what I mean? Not be intimidated by it, you know, um is also what this represents. So 
I'm glad that you've decided to share your share your spirit because I know you're very outside of this like you're very personal and you're very sort of you know kept you know um uh what's the word what's the word private about you know about brown sugar in a sense so I'm I'm thankful that uh you know uh you uh decided to to share um to 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 share with us on um on Fresh TV I'm I'm very thankful for it today you know send and was on the Facebook I usually take a shot that um I usually take a shot with my you know with the people that come in fresh and sometimes they escape me like Sharon escaped me this morning so I'm going to try and figure out how to do a selfie um with you <laughs> on the screen I'm going to I'm going to figure it out I'm going to do it right now too I'm going to make sure I make it happen you know I'm going to do it right now I'm going to do my selfie <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be my selfie with you on the screen, so let me let me set it up. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna set it up right now to hold it, hold it. This is gonna be funny because this because I thought I was like, oh my guests overseas, I'm gonna try and get shots with them. So how can I make this happen? So I'm gonna try the first selfie with my computer screen with my guest on Fresh TV, the best TV with local Thursdays with Brown Sugar. No, it's my, it's my phone work. You're gonna let me take my photo. Let me see. No, my phone's okay. Here we go. Okay. No, I, all I want is my photo. There we go. Okay. So here I go. <laughs> here I go. Let me. Huh? I, I I guess I can't see it until you put it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So keep still. Don't be still. So the frame, <laughs> so the frame clears up nice and clear. Do it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, hang on. Oh, oh man, this is this is okay. Here we go. I'm gonna. You are funny. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do it. Oh, now I gotta make it look normal too, right? Okay, five, four, three, two. <laughs> I I well, actually I got it. So. <laughs> Um, I didn't see. Okay, well. I can't see, but well, anyway. no, you know, Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I've got, I, I actually have to do it a different way again. Okay. This one's okay, but I'm going to have to do another one. I'm going to do one more. Uh, should I keep that one? Because this one's funny, actually. Um, uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to do one more. i got to do one more. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> uh, selfie. With. Live guest, Bron Sugar. Sugar, online. <laughs> ah. Okay. Now I'm gonna try this other one and get closer to. I need to get closer. I, I, I. Okay. So I did that one. Let me, let me do this one here. I don't know what you're doing. I can't see what you're doing. Well, I'm well, it's gonna be posted online. You'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see yeah. it. Like, like as a. <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious. But um, okay. anyway, we took the pictures. Um, so so thanks a lot. And we're gonna go out with your song. Okay. The old, the old in, inboxable. <laughs> and those of you must remember the competition. The trivia closes on uh, TV, uh, on it's Sunday night. It's it's not Spit TV. It's Spit Zone. Spit Zone. Sorry. The spit Zone on Facebook. Spit Zone on Facebook. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yes. <laughs> it's Spit Zone. And let me just put up that there. It's Spit Zone. I mean, I have the title pretty much right. I did put up Spit Zone. Yes, I did. Mm, the yeah, Spit Zone. Great. I put up the Spit Zone. And um, be sure to go there and check it out um, with Brown Sugar. And in the money, win that voucher from Amazon. Windows vouchers now, and you only and it's only one prize gets given away, or yeah, only one. Okay, Sorry, only one. I can't afford to give everybody a hundred dollar 
Amazon gift card. I'm telling you, no sir, Bob, but that's a pretty good <laughs> gift. So be sure to look out. We're going to be working on what we do right here at Fresh as well with her. So hoping that we get up and running maybe by the first week in October. Uh, once we sort through some details and get the uh, trivia on Fresh, where it will be online and on Spit, um, Spit Zone uh, online. And we're going to make this whole city work and grow each other. So thanks a lot. You look fantastic as usual. Thank you. You know, I, 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 yeah, you, you, you switched up on me, but uh, yeah, I see, I see it, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't talk about Dusty Curls right now, so that's that. So, we're good. So, talk to you later, and I'm going to play this tune from the other side uh, that we have. And we'll wish you do your final words for, for, the, for the audience. Anything, the last, any last shout outs i just want to i just want to um tell everybody to come and visit my facebook page called the Spitz. come there say hello let me know if you watch the fresh tv show show your thoughts here you go one time anyway we're out here you go brown sugar from the spitzen and don't forget to go and check out that trivia all right and let's finish up with our her wicked song that she's got there on what she calls YouTube on her Brown Sugar TV channel. And you guys are gonna, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna have a good time because I, I kind of got into the vibe one time. Here it is, playing for you, going out, spits in. Talk to you good people later. I am in box. In boxable. I see you. TV, the best TV, just winding up a uh, big interview with a uh, good lady and, and business associate that calls herself Bron 
sugar. So we'll be back once again uh, with another edition of Fresh TV, the best TV. Of course, this is Local Stays waking you up and putting you to bed every day of the week. You know what I'm saying? So wait, stay tuned for the next one because we have another big one coming up. We got Mansfield Brock coming up. We got uh, a big interview coming up with uh, with a lot of this. This is a really special guest. This person even um, could possibly be a person that finds a cure for what we call cancer. Trust me when I tell you some big stuff going on, some big stuff coming up. So don't go nowhere, okay, in terms of Fresh TV, the best TV. Continue our YouTube channel up and running. Um, so be sure to go ahead, get the notifications for when we stream on YouTube so you can get the notifications when you come up. So until the next time, Fresh TV, and we're out.